Apparently I'm muted. Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, welcome to the Nintendo pre-show. We're at T-minus two minutes now. Um, in order to get ready for the Nintendo Direct stream, which keeps, like, keeps lagging out on me, which is really frustrating, I gotta say. Give me a second. Let's see if we can pop out of a few things here. Um, Nintendo Direct. So we're going to have Nintendo Direct to continue what I was literally just talking about. Then they're going to have the Treehouse, which actually goes for a couple of days. We're not going to be covering all of that, of course, but usually they show actual gameplay and actual stuff during the Treehouse, so I'm hopeful to have uh, at least something of interest during the Treehouse event. Uh, can I just get rid of chat? Chat? Like, I don't want chat to even exist. Get rid of chat. Hide chat. There we go. Just get rid of it. <laughs> okay. We should be at T-minus basically nothing right now. I'm going to go through this cutscene in FF14. While I wait. Not you guys. You guys exist. You guys are awesome. Why does it keep doing this? I, it's supposed to start in like 40 seconds. Twitch is always worse, but I'll try it. <laughs> Frell. Like, Twitch is universally worse to restream from from YouTube. That's why I prefer YouTube. We'll try it. Maybe. The Twitch page isn't loading at all. Come on. Shoot, now it's freaking going. So it started. God damn it. I'm working on it, guys. Give me a minute. Okay. Daemon Ex Machina. I've never heard of this. Shinriki, 3,564年第107代アーケディア法王ナダリアは軍事大国シアへと遠征軍を派兵一夜にしてその首都ホメロパは陥落し 
アルスもろとも雲海の底深くへと沈んでいったその影にはたった一人のプレイと天の聖杯滅の存在があった次のターゲットはいいがに決めたなぜ世界を破壊する気づいてるんじゃないか破壊したがってるのは人間だと僕が本国から受けた使命は天の聖杯滅の討伐だ,、oh, this is だどうだろう僕らにその力貸してもらえないだろうかひょっとして怒ってる滅の討伐のこと Hey guys. 国民を守るための戦いに身を置けるなら本望だ君に頼みたいことはただ一つあの滅を葬り去ってもらうことなのだから一体何の目的で別に退屈しのぎだよただのふざけてるのの聖杯同士の激突お前いい目をしてるな俺の行く道はこの道だ交わることはないウンウィーランチ・ニンテンド・スウィッチアウィジョンウィズ・アホームシステムウィズ・プレイ・トゥ・ゲザー Anytime, anywhere. Two detachable Joy Con controllers, countless play possibilities. From day one, all of you have shown the world what that means, whether playing at home or on the go, from low to on high. Where will Nintendo Switch take you next? To a smashing invitational cheered by fans and challengers? Or on a journey through verdant fields and viridian cities? In a timeless quest to catch them all. I'm just saying, Reggie does the hand things too. A few weeks ago, we showed you Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, a grand new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant Kanto region where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. By the way, Team Eevee, just Add saying. The transformative power of Nintendo Switch, and you can play as you like. Anywhere you like, or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. This is a Pokeball Plus. You can use it like a Joy Con controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, or play the entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. Sounds like there's already one inside. It's the mythical Pokemon Mew. Mew comes exclusive with every Pokeball Plus and can join you on your journey through the game. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and the Pokeball Plus will be available on November 16th. Discover new friends and challenges as you explore this mysterious and enchanting world. Wherever you go, with whoever you like, only on Nintendo Switch. Now, Let's check out something else we can't wait to show you. Okay, you ready for this? <sighs> All right. He's desperate. Don't even think about it. <laughs> All or nothing. Oh. Yes! Mario Party. Uh, the friend killer. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. hey, Ray, what's up? Hey. What are you doing? Dude, Dude, you play. Play. <laughs> okay. Gotta change it up, though. No, seriously. Mario Party is totally the friend killer. Like some angles. Okay. That looks cool. Ready? Do it. Oh, game on. Okay, that's neat, but really? Oh. Really? Come on. Alright, let's do another one. Are you guys ready to do this? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. 
One more. <laughs> one more. We should do one more. Rematch. It does look like a good Mario Party. I'll admit that. But, I mean, come on, guys. Certainly got a variety of mini games. Good God. Wow, they're still showing more mini games. That that's actually impressive. Yeah, you missed Smash. It was awesome. It was the best thing ever. It's a shame you missed it. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess, a gift to help guide the lost. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above as the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Three houses. Is that the name? Like, this game doesn't even have a title that we're aware of. Go ahead, give me orders. It's time to measure your worth as an instructor. Oh. Okay, that's an interesting animation for the combat. Such a brutal, irrational world we left in. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. Looks nice. Reach for my hand, I'll soar Except for this part, obviously. I was gonna say, did previous Fire Emblems have squad combat? Like that type of squad combat. And we fall to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never. I will return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me. God, I still didn't even see a title. Here's Fortnite. Hey guys, Fortnite. When was the release date? I'm sorry, I missed it. Spring next year. Okay. I mean, I'm always in favor of basically every game in the entire world being on the Switch, so... I at least philosophically agree with this. I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. I like how he's got Stardew Valley back there. Switch, and Shovel Knight. You can have the complete Battle Royale experience. Whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Nintendo Switch, a home console where you can access a full range of games. And content, SteamWorld Dig. Including a wealth of groundbreaking games from our independent development community. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. And to all of you, as well as all of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. Let's pull back the curtain on a few more, including two we're showing for the first time here today. Cool. Aspiring chefs, ready your cleavers, pots, and cutting boards in Overcooked 2, a sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, kitchens, I've never played and Overcooked. Mayhem. I've heard of Prepare it. Prepare for the ultimate cook-off with new features like the ability to throw ingredients, kitchens that can change on the fly, and with Nintendo Switch, 
the opportunity to bake, barbecue, or broil with another player in wireless, local, and online play. Save the world from clumsy cooking when Team 17's frantic food juggler arrives on August 7th. Hop on a snail, hoard berries, or wipe out the enemy's queen to claim victory in Killer Queen Black. Redesigned from the ground up, Liquid Bit and Bumble Bear Games' acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer phenomenon is coming to Nintendo Switch. And for the first time on console, two teams of up to four each can square off in exciting battles. Play it first on Nintendo Switch later this year. And finally, venture through the mysterious subterranean landscapes of a vast, forgotten kingdom in Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight an action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of intricate exploration. We revealed earlier this year that also, Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch. I say this isn't news, but again. The game, the game, packed with all the previous downloadable content, more games on is Switch. available on the Nintendo eShop starting today. Damn. These are just a few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live, streaming right from the E3 show floor, where our Nintendo game experts will give you a closer look at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their mettle in our Splatoon 2 World Championship and Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018, the action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse Live. Before we move on, I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath Traveler from Square Enix is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch on July 13th. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo uh. eShop on June 14th. Now, let's take another action-packed look at some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, sorry, exclusive. So, Starlink. Of course they're showing off the R-Wing. Hey, it's a 10 cent game game. Minecraft. Sushi Striker, which I still haven't actually gotten around to trying the demo of. Interested in that. Not as interested in that. I've already bought this. <laughs> oh yeah, I've heard about this. A lot of board games are starting to come out, like they're starting to pr uh, put them out on the Switch, which is kind of an interesting concept. Ooh, Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. Nice. That shelter. Monster Hunter. I thought this was already out on Switch. I guess not. Oh, there it is. World Ends With You. Fall. That looks pretty good, actually. Mega Man 11, which I've also already bought. I should also buy that one too. Seems like 30 games in a row. Jesus. Hi, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have only a little bit of free time. Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world. 
and we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. Today we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. Now, it's time to share information on a certain title. I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. I don't know anybody named that. Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super Smash Bros. is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. <laughs> Many fighters have appeared in this series. I'm sure you are all eager to find out who will be joining the roster this time. So we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Bros. series. Please take a look. Okay. <laughs> Guys, Mario is confirmed. And Fox is banned. Nobody plays as Fox. <laughs> Haven't seen him for a bit. I was wondering if Bayonetta would be back. I was actually pretty good with Rob on the Wii one there. It's the only one I ever bothered to get good at. Aww. Poor DDD. <laughs> Interesting. That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Brothers history is joining the battle. 
Indeed, absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply put, this is the biggest Jesus. crossover in gaming history. Once again... <laughs> yeah, this would have been an insane amount of work. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting, so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters to your side. Eight-player battles are also making a return. See what happens when you pit many different fighters against one another. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. Mario's still easy to use, but we did add a little something for someone from his latest adventure. <laughs> he can also wear his wedding and builder outfits. Link dons his champion's tunic from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. His bombs are now remotely detonated and his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. He can also wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. Although it's been a while, the two-in-one fighter, the Ice Climbers, are back. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now you can use both versions for the first time. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. <laughs> we now have the female version of Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? <laughs> Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, and his final smash has received an overhaul. This time, final smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. Falco's final smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game appearances. It's a small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. Charge moves, like Samus's charge shot, can now power up in midair. You can cancel with jump or dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Marth's dancing blade is faster, and it's easier to unleash one after another. This holds true for Roy and Lucina, too. In addition, Marth is now fully voiced in English. Keep your eyes open! Back by popular demand, veteran fighter Snake is sneaking back into the fray. It's been 10 years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. Of course, Shadow Moses Island is back too. King DDD's final smash is basically a cage fight where he unleashes missiles and a jet hammer. Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee. It's electric shot. I was just wondering the same thing, too, Dakota. So be careful. I mean, Konami, right? In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda is more into research than fighting, so her design is from The Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Sonic's final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. Pac-Man also got a speed boost this time around. Looping around the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? Pokemon Trainer is back with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. 
Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. Only in one-on-one. -on -one. I like that. And of that. course, his hazardous big blue stage is making a return. Just like before, you can play as Cloud in his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. For example, you can see how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. For Villager, we made it easier to see what you've pocketed. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different Villagers. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Island game. Cool. All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. His transformations are more full of character than ever. Young Link from Super Smash Bros. Melee is making a comeback that makes three links for the first time. Lon Lon Milk, anyone? After 10 long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received a significant upgrade. Kirby is his usual puffy self, but we've added a little something to his stone ability. He has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. Shulk used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado arts. But now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. Sure is handy to change arts on the fly. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And for his final smash, he becomes Demon King Gan. Me Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three types, Brawler, Sword Fighter, and Gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, and you can now choose from 12 voice options. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Previously, Pit's final smash was three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus' final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. Jesus Christ. When Olimar gets damaged, you'll see a crack in his helmet. But don't worry. It'll get fixed up right away. Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Listen closely and you'll hear differences in the sound effects. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Warrior's final smash, Warrior Man, has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid-fire punches like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. There's like 70-something characters at this You'll point. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. Little Mac's final smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Mac. In fact, all final smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Yeah, I noticed that. Ness's new final smash calls on Paula and Pooh. Of course, Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Because Jeff is awesome. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Boney. At first glance, We Fit Trainer seems the same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the We Fit developers. 
We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final smash, say hello to Proto Man and Bass. Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around. And her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. God, they're still going. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. And you will never see it, because you'll be zoomed way out here. Notice but it's still cool. Symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. Bob. Oh, Daisy. Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. I hope you're looking forward to some serious matchups. And here's a new fighter. Oh, there actually is a new fighter. Oh, Inkling. Okay. I was going to say. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot. Splat bomb. Splat roller. And the final smash, Killer Whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. And each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. By the way, we added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen. <laughs> oh, wow. That's neat. Jesus While we're on the Christ. topic of assist trophies, They're still let going. me share some additional information. I think you're right, Max. As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. You can KO assist trophies by inflicting damage, and now you get points for it too. Uh, excuse me. However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. Maybe an unexpected guest will photobomb your battle. Yep, it's him. Well, that looks mean. There's a wide variety, more than 50 of them appear in the game. Of course, we're also adding even more Pokemon and items. We can't wait to show you. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Let's get a look at some stages from various games. Probably not, Snatchy. There hasn't been one since the Wii version. <sighs> Ten years ago.
All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. This probably qualifies as knocking it out of the park, yeah. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during battles. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons just like the previous game. A perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. This should help ensure that the action is well paced. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Better do something, or no victory pose for you. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And of course, the moment we see that, we all recognize that controller. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. In fact, all fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. However, we do have one more announcement. Please, take a look. I like that. Not gameplay footage. Hey look, three of my favorite game franchises in one spot. This is Ridley. We've been asking for it for years. They finally did it. That's probably the end. Aw. I mean, good. But I was hoping for a little bit sooner.
Good morning, and yeah, that everyone, was the direct. And welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live from the Los Angeles Convention Center at E3. Minasan o hayou gozaimasu. Los Angeles no E3 kaijo no Nintendo Treehouse Live no haishin e yo koso. I'd like to say thank you to everyone around the world for tuning in to our Nintendo Direct as well as our fans in Japan. Zen Sagai no minasan ga Nintendo Direct wo mite detaite. Soshite toku ni Nihon no okyaku san mo mite detaite. Doumo arigatou gozaimasu. I am Bill Trinan. I am here with Nate Bildorf and Eric Smith from the Treehouse. Boku wa Treehouse no Bill Trinan to eh Nate Bildorf san to Eric Smith san nan desu kere domo. Uh, we have a very special guest for you this morning. We just saw a new character announced. Nate, why don't you tell us who we have and what we're going to see? <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a new character announced, but today we have a special guest that has been invited to the show. Nate, please introduce yourself. Yeah, I know that was a, a probably a lot of Smash to digest uh, for those of you viewing at home. Um, Mr. Sakurai on video explained quite a bit to us, um, but we are very fortunate to have a live Mr. Sakurai here with us with his translator, Raymond Elgin. で、あの、今朝はサクライさんがスマブラのコマゴマな話をいろいろしましたけれども、今朝はあのまあ運が良くて本人が登壇していただいてえっと通訳のレイモンさんも一緒に来てます。ああもう。胸がいっぱいです。I'm really speechless at the fact that we've been working so hard and we're finally able to announce this game. うん、だからもうこれから帰ろうかなって。So I think I'm just going to go home now. No, not yet. まだまだ。ダメですよ。well, I want to uh, jump into um, some more specific details, but before we start, does Mr. Sakurai have anything he wants to say just in general about the game's development? まあ、もちろんこれからいろいろ紹介していきたいと思うんですけれども、その実演プレイの前にサクライさんからのメッセージは何かないでしょうか。今回とにかくあの今回の売りというのは全員登場を果たしたということです。これからスマッシュブラザ
、その体育から、えー、とてもまとめるのが難しかったのですが特に海外からの要望がすごく高かったために、えー、リドリーを実践させることにしました。えー、とスマブラ X で、えー、アドベンチャーモードというのがありましてサムスを壁にこすりつけたりしていましたが今回は地面にこすりつけたりします。Now, in absolutely no way do I want to sound negative. This all sounds awesome, but I won't buy this game because I just have no interest in this game. I need a story campaign to care about Smash. That's why I liked the Wii one best, was because I loved the,、uh, the Subspace Emissary. And there is like a 1% chance that there will be a campaign mode in this game. So, I just. There's nothing here for me, right? This isn't even coffee, this is just something else. Now, I will admit, if they came out with a actual campaign mode a la M Subsidy Cemetery, sold. Because this does look good! Make no mistake, this looks great, actually. But, yeah. So, just from that one hit, he took about, 20, about 26% of damage right now, but you take big damage. And several people in chat are saying, Don't you play with your friends? First of all, none of my friends play Smash. That's the first problem. Second of all, I have one friend who is physically near me who plays video games at all. And that's third, who doesn't play Smash. So, unless I count my niece. And I have other games to play with my niece. That's why I'm just going to stay quiet here. ここれこの技にはスイートスポットがあってそこに直撃するとダメージを与えることができますそうじゃないところではもうすごい傘当たりをするんですねこれはやっぱり<笑> so これはあのやっぱり四人対戦の時の方が当たりやすいと思います。ということでリドリの説明は以上です。はい、and I think that まあ、デコボコにされることはちょっとあの、お読みしたいと思ってますけれども、あの、せっかくですので、えっと、ネットさんとエリクさんがあの、2人で対戦してもらいましょうか。はい。Sounds <笑> good. I've been thinking about it stop getting beaten up, but you know, we'll see what DLC Mario Party for the Switch Fire Emblem coming out spring next year. And there's a second demo for Octopath, which carries forward just like the Bravely Default de demos. And then, like, a bunch of games getting ported to the Switch. There was like 30. I, don't ask me to list them all. They showed each one for like three seconds. I'm probably going to go ahead and. God, I'm not sure, Harry. I'm not sure. Uh, did Mario Party get a release date? I didn't jot one down. ええ、ステージを先に選ぶことにしました。特に敗者が選ぶ、負けた側が選ぶようにすると、え、さらに公平度が増すと思います。I want it. And so add to add a little bit of strategy. Uh we decided to uh be able to select the stage beforehand and that
1対1の場合、えー、とああいうスコア表示を行うことにしましたゼロになったら負けです And then、uh, for one on one battles, we decided to put a score.、Uh, yeah, sorry, I didn't jot it down because again, I have no one to play Mario Party with, so it's just. It's a latte. I'm going to start using that, whoever said that. It's a latte situation. Good triumphs. Nate has no mercy, does he? Never. Especially against a new fighter. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, come on, man. That's just that should be illegal. So, they were more hunting in the sky. Mano, Mada, Kaihatsu no version this she, eh, to damage it to Katarias and it's either Korakamo Chosen or Chigar Kamo Sirmasen. And of course, this game is still in development, so the damage ratio, where the sweet spot is, things like that may change in the future. それと、えー、ムービー中でもお話をしていましたワンオンワンダメージというのが適用されているので、えー、普通に4人対戦でやるときよりもダメージ値が高くなっています。そうこうしてる間に今同点になってますね。And as we speak, we're at、yes, uh, we're at a tie right now. で今はまた新しいアイテムですね。This is a new item we see on screen here. その名もブラックボールと言うんですけれども。And, uh, this new item is called black hole.、えー、その中にえっ、ー、と、That's、中心に相手を吸い込む56 minutes in answer to Anthony's question. Tracks all the fighters into the center of that black hole. あとお話しした通り、えー、アシストフィーリアを撃墜することができますが、oh, これはタイム制とかじゃないと得点が関係ないので、えー、今回はそんなにメリットはないかも起きましたね。Oh. あの落ち方もいろいろ監修しましたよ。Enjoy that. Yep. Enjoy that. Did a lot of review for that animation. And it looks like we've added some new to the game as well. All right. All right. 新しいポケモンも今出ましたよね。あれは前作から出ています。ダークライですね。Yeah, that's Dark Ride from the previous title. Get out. ギャラ側はまだダメージが低いので簡単に助かります。So yeah, the damage ratio was low, and that's why we were able to get out of Boss Galaga. Oh, 新しいボンバーです。And this is a new item. Let's just stick this up in the air real quick. Oh, come over here. Come over here. That was bad. Warp Star にも新しい仕様がつきまして、上を押してると時間を調整できるようになりました。早く落ちたり遅く落ちたりすることができます。And we actually added a new spec to the Warp Star, so holding up you can actually delay when the Warp Star falls, and you can adjust when either make it quickly or slower. I'm burning now. 今サムスがカレーを出ましたけれども、あの前から疑問だったんですけど、海外の人ってカレーをわかるんですか ？I was always curious, you know, Sam ate the curry, but I was wondering, do overseas people get that, you know, it's burning and spicy? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The American people love curry. The American people が辛口のカレーが大好きです。知りませんでした。I didn't know that. Good to know. I just like to point out that I won while we were talking. Ah, 今あの喋ってる間にあのネイトさんが優勝しましたねって。そうですね。おめでとうございます。Congratulations, Samus. What did Ridley ever do to you? Why you gotta be like? もうサムスなんでそういうことするんですか。リッドリーがそれだけ悪いことしたんですか。Ridley ate her parents. So, Mr. Sakurai, would you would you like to play one? じゃあ四人で戦いましょうか。やりますか。Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do a four-player match. What do you guys say? Sounds good. Okay. Let's do it. 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 All right. Now we got controllers. No, 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 no. We're gonna grab. Let me grab. We'll figure it out. Two P. It looks like I'm second player. Maybe I'll go with Link. I'm gonna go with Ganondorf. 
Um, perhaps I will stick with Mario since we just saw uh, Nate get beat up as Mario. Oh. And that is why I don't stream uh, Smash, uh, Morgan. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. I'm just making sure. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> He did say you like Mario. So we are on Great Plateau Tower here uh, from Breath of the Wild. You know what's funny is this is not the first time Nintendo has done this. You remember the E3 where it was all about Breath of the Wild and like nothing else? I still wasn't, like, completely in favor of that there. And I really like Breath of the Wild and obviously had a lot of investment in Zelda. <laughs> so, and I don't know if you noticed, but yeah, two years ago. Uh, dogs have been coming out since Brawl, but every time it's been a different type I will give them uh, credit. They had just this rapid-fire thing of, here's the literally dozens of games that's coming out on the Switch. So, it used to be so it's not like they are completely ignoring other games. It's just they're spending the majority of their time on Smash. Oh, not me, not me. That's you. Come on. I guess I am getting better. Oh, Curry. In fact, I need to rewatch my own video to catch all of the games that were hitting the Switch. It was a huge list. And I can't write that quickly. I can type that quickly. Oh, no. That was not good. I love seeing that tower collapse and then a new platform appears. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to cut off the stream as soon as they, like, wrap up whatever they're doing here. And by cut off the stream, I'm going to cut off the recording. And we'll just kind of... I'm not sure what to do after this. Oops. Like... <laughs> Uh, we're good. Yeah, this is the treehouse cloud. This has been the treehouse. This is all live now. Something I don't know if people are noticing. But oh, oh, come on, Bill. I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> uh, Ganondorf now has sword attacks for all of his smash My fun is Nintendo franchise. It really hard. I guess that would be Metroid. Yeah, the, the treehouse is literally going to be another two days, so there's no way I can just restream for two days, especially since I have YouTube work to do. Look is look from Ocarina of Time, and that was unfortunate. Oh, it's beware. Oh, it's beware. Uh, his attack is very strong. Uh, did Ganondorf just have a little sparkle? Is that, no. is that my imagination? I think it must have been because I've been getting destroyed. <laughs> There's nothing else, period, Dakota. I mean, there is, but little stuff, you know. 15 minutes of this, 30 minutes of this. Which, honestly, I don't think I'm going to cover live. I've been thinking about that. Oh. I can do a wrap-up. Lord knows next week's lore week is already going to be like four hours long. Yes. You died, it doesn't count. Oh, I did get one point though. I would say if I had to pick a winner this year, I would go with Sony. Although, as I said, we didn't really have any bad conferences. For once. Oh man, how did that miss? 
これはガノンドルフじゃないですか。ああ、なぜそんなことするんですか。そういうゲームだからしょうがないですよね。Yeah wasn't bad. Yeah wasn't good, but yeah wasn't bad. I know what you're saying. EA was bad. No, I've seen so much worse. There has been so much worse than what EA did this year. EA has done worse than EA did this year. Self-destruct's not gonna help things. I, uh, oh, look at that. That's a ringer. That is a ringer. <laughs> それはちょっとアンフェアじゃないですか。アンフェアですね。ずるいですよね。ずるいですね。すみません。本当すみません。Sorry about that. 何か終わりことした？ライブしてる。Wow, that was that was fun. Yeah, that was. Yeah. I almost want to play again. Yes. 楽しかったですね。Oh, EA was absolutely the worst this year. That's easy to say. やりますか？ちょっと手があの汗だらけでネイクさんが言ってました。ユブソフトは不思議。なんかあの放送であることを忘れて遊んじゃいますね。You know, it's, it's kind of so, uh, we've, we've, uh, あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、まあ、今朝はあのリドリーの紹介もできましたし、ダイレクトの中には、えー、と今回のスマブラは過去のアミーボは全部あの使えるようになるという話はありましたよね。そうですね。So、uh, that does leave us with the question of what would happen in the case of a, if you wanted a Ridley アミーボ。ということは、うん、リドリーのアミーボは結局どうなるかっていうのが思いますよね。まあ、思うでしょうね。<笑> yeah, so, uh, I think so. I think maybe we should take this opportunity. To show an incredibly detailed Ridley Amiibo that will be launching alongside the game. I will probably buy a Ridley Amiibo because it's Ridley. So, the Ridley Amiibo is a new Amiibo. 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 <laughs> I think this is the first time I've seen like a 3D realization of Ridley. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I've seen it during production and development. But... And can I share something a little, maybe a little nerdy? Yes, please. <laughs> So、um, there is already an Inkling Amiibo, and、uh, now that we have a, a Smash、uh, Inkling Amiibo, and I wanted to kind of point out one difference between those two, and it's that the little、uh, triangle ticker on the ink tank behind the ink Inkling, the location of that triangle ticker is different. So it's a splash bomb that you can get in the ink of the ink. This is a splash bomb that you can get in the ink of the ink. スプラッシュボムを打てるんですね。だから仕様が変わってそうなっています。And that mar,、uh, denotes how much ink you use up when you use the splat bomb, but the amount of ink you use in Splatoon and Smash is different. It's in Smash it's a special move, so you can、uh, use a lot more splat bombs. So the spec is a little different. Details, man. Details. Yeah, details. <laughs>、uh, and although we we don't have a figure to show today, we did also introduce、uh, Daisy as an Echo Fighter in the game, and we can confirm that there will also be a Daisy Amiibo in the Smash Brothers series releasing as well. でまあ今日は実物は見せられないんですけれどもビデオの中にはえっ、ー、とデイジーがピーチ姫のダッシュファイターとして紹介されたんですけれどもスマブラシリーズのアミーボのデイジーも一応あの用意します。はい。Yes. そうですね。じゃあせっかくですのでまた遊んでみましょうか。<笑>もう一戦。もう一戦で。じゃあやりましょう。Should we have yeah, one more battle? Quick, quick rematch. Let's do it. I think we're over there. お、これ届かない。ありがとう。Yeah, I think Sony is at the top、nope, for me. Microsoft was good. Nintendo was good, even though I don't care. Um, and I, I would probably actually. That's not true. I don't think. I would put Sony at the top. My number two would actually probably be Bethesda, if I'm being honest. Personally. 
Not, not just in terms of overall. So, Sony, Bethesda, um, I suppose Nintendo next? It's hard to judge. And then I guess I would go with Microsoft and uh, Ubisoft. Roughly in that order. Uh, two different versions. Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. And I will, uh, I will go with Zelda. I love the Zelda redesign. I think our artwork is excellent. Yeah, most of the conferences get some kind of asterisk. If I'm being completely honest, I don't think any given conference did what I would refer to as knocking it out of the park. Some good stuff, but nothing that was just, that was super amazing from front to back. So this stage has a lot of hills, so it's actually uh, kind of difficult to use items properly. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, that smash ball is... Could you speed up on the translation, Raymond, when he has, like, salient info like that? Oh, we're got it. Microsoft had great structure, I agree. Microsoft comes the closest for me for truly knocking it out of the park in terms of the overall. Even though I would put Sony as higher. That is a real one. Yes. This is a new Smash. This is the new Smash on the Switch. Why would I put Sony higher? See, the problem with Sony for me wasn't the fact that they did only the four games and showcased them a lot. In fact, I think that's one of the things they did correctly. However, Sony had weird technical issues and for some reason decided that it would be best to do this weird, like, musical interlude thing. And then switch over to, um, and then switch over to the what you fig, like to the people who are just chatting, and then switch back to another musical interlude, and then have another musical interlude, and then actually show a game and blah blah blah. That all is the big asterisk to the Sony conference. The reason I would still rate Sony higher is because the meat and content of the Sony conference was, in my opinion, excellent. Not just because of the fact that I'm interested in most of the games they showed, but because they did a good, in-depth showing of said games. We saw a fairly large amount of everything they had, right? Oh, I wanted that. Come on! Oh, I just gotta live! Sudden death. Oh, snap. Three-way sudden death. Oh. Yeah, it's a, uh... I agree, Harriant. I would imagine they were like, well, this worked great for the God of War thing. So let's just keep going with that. Thank you for a wonderful game. So humble. Well, I think, um, you know, before we go, I, if there's anything... Uh, Nothing for the 3DS that I saw, no. Uh, Which doesn't surprise me. You spent time I mean, why today, would they? So any, any final thoughts for everybody watching? So, what do you want to say about Sakurai? I think it's a very important thing to say about the E3 version. I think it's a very important thing to say about the E3 version. I think it's a very important thing to say about the E3 version. I think it's a very important thing I have no idea, Master Riku. Really? I got nothing. Like, they've talked about how the Sony PS4 is on its way out, but nobody talked anything about new uh, hardware. Time and um, I hope that, uh, and obviously, we're in the middle of development and balancing is still being made, so it may be some changes. But I hope that uh, if you have the opportunity to please uh, check it out, uh, we can't include all the characters, but I think you'll get a good feel for it. 
And, uh, well, yes, we know Microsoft is working on their new Xbox, just like we know Sony is working on the PS5. That's not news as of E3. That's news as of, like, a couple months ago. Thank you very much. And thank you for tuning into Treehouse Live. We have more coming up. Uh, there will be more Smash Brothers with lots of detail on additional characters uh, over the course of E3. But coming up next, after a short break, we're going to have the world's first hands-on play with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, along with a very special guest. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee の世界初実演プレイを紹介したいと思っています多少ブレーキがありますけれどもその後特別なゲストまた登壇しますので引き続きよろしくお願いします So I think I'm, I'm safe to finally chop off the local recording We're already at like almost an hour and a half here So for those of you watching on YouTube 